Okay, I'll just show you how to set the sat nav in this 2015 Mercedes A Class. Uh, so, from any screen, you can see there the, the you've got Navi, audio, telephone, and system up there. So, if we click this selector forward till the top menu bar is highlighted, rotate the selector till you get to Navi, click on Navi. As you can see there, you've got uh, ju just the map. If we click again, and then scroll up to enter destination if you click again that brings the the next menu up and we need to enter the address again we'll turn this down here enter address select and that's the postcode there you've got street intersection places of interest and start guidance at the bottom that's uh, we'll highlight postcode and then turn we're Grosvenor Garage Chorley Road Wantleydale Preston PR we need to go down to numbers now. Just click backwards down to origin, that goes to the numbers. So PR5, 4, go back up to the letters, J, S, Preston, PR5, 4, J, S, that's us. So we select, we can put a street in, or we can just go down to start guidance. Fast route's been calculated. The route has been calculated. That, that's it done. Okay, I'll just show you how to delete a mobile from this 2015 Mercedes-Benz A-Class. Um, in this, when the uh, when the sat nav's on, you can you can click go back, but it just goes back on the sat nav. That's that's all it does. So what you have to do is click telephone, and you see there it's ready for Bluetooth telephony. Now, you've got telephone, connect device, and call list here. So if I knock this back, it highlights this main menu there. You'll just see, click on telephone, you've got import contacts, we don't want that, so we can click back, and connect device. So connect device, you'll see Barry's iPhone there, that's the one I want to delete, and you've got a menu at the side here. So, you've highlighted the phone, click sideways select and then you've got deauthorize details reception volume or transmission volume we want deauthorize click deauthorize do you want to deauthorize Barry's iPhone 11 so it defaults to no we turn the selector to yes click the selector and that's it gone okay I'll just show you how to pair a mobile to the Bluetooth audio system in this 2015 Mercedes A class the first thing we have to do is make sure Bluetooth's on. Once Bluetooth's on, we can go to telephone. As you can see there, it says ready for Bluetooth telephony. And uh, telephone there, connect device and call list. That's on the bottom menu. So we need to pull this back towards us, highlight the bottom menu, as you can see there. Then connect device, select connect device, it's on search for phones at the top. So we'll click yes, search for phones. Yes, you've got to tell it twice. Start search. So it's now looking for my phone. It's found my phone. So we turn the selector till it's onto my phone there click yes or select or whatever you want to call it and there you go does the pass key 690318 match well it does so click pair on there and select yes on the unit allow contacts and favorites to sync allow Mercedes Bluetooth is connected there Okay, I'll just show you how to stream music from your mobile to the Bluetooth audio system in this uh, Mercedes-Benz A-Class. So if you, if you go to your, let's just knock that off, if you go to your iTunes, you see at the bottom there the uh, silver or white triangle with the three circles above it and Mercedes-Benz Bluetooth there. So if I click on that, you'll see there's a, a tick by Mercedes-Benz Bluetooth. So. Once I've, once I've got to Bluetooth on this system, it will play what's, whatever's on my 
iPhone. I'll turn that down there and then we need to get to audio. So if it's in sat nav, you can't use the back button to get back to the radio or the radio functions. So if we go click to radio, I'll just have to make sure this is turned down. And you see across the top of the menu, Navi, audio, telephone and system. If we push the selector forward onto and then navigate to audio and you'll see a little triangle down there, down arrow. So we'll click on audio and there you've got disk, USB storage and Bluetooth audio. That's what we need, Bluetooth audio. Activating Bluetooth audio. Now, whatever's playing from your phone will play on there. So if I turn this up, turn that up and then I control it from here. There you go. That's um, that's playing from my uh, my phone through the system. I've got to say, sometimes, um, I, and I'm not sure why, it, it doesn't bring your phone up. So what you have to do then is, if you if you go to audio, click on audio. If Bluetooth isn't there in, in that system, we just go back and then click down to the bottom menu and you've got BT Audio there. Go to BT Audio, click on BT Audio and you've got Bluetooth Audio device list. Select that and then you might just have to highlight whichever phone you want to play music from and uh, select like so. That's it, that's how you do it.